In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to install TypeScript and write your first TypeScript program. So here we're in the terminal. We're not going to work with Angular in this section. We're going to purely focus on TypeScript. So first, we need to install TypeScript globally on our machine. So npm install dash g, which stands for global TypeScript. And of course, if you're on Mac, you need to put sudo at the front. All right, beautiful. So I have installed the latest version of TypeScript, which is currently version 2.3.4. Now we can type TSC, which stands for TypeScript Compiler, dash dash version. Again, you can see that I'm running TypeScript 2.3.4. All right, now I'm going to create a new folder for this section. So let's call this TS Hello. Let's go to this folder. Now here I'm going to create a new file and open it with VS Code. So code main.ts. So now I'm going to write some plain JavaScript code. And I want to show you that all this JavaScript code is also valid TypeScript code. So first I'm going to define a function. Let's call this log. That takes a message. And here we simply log that message on the console like this. Then I'm going to declare a global variable. Let's call this message and set it to this string, hello world. And finally call our log function message. So this is just plain JavaScript code, right? Now save. Back in the terminal, we need to transpile this TypeScript file into JavaScript. So TSC or TypeScript compiler main.ts. Now, if you look at the files in this folder, look, we have main.js and main.ts. Now, this transpilation or compilation step when you're building an Angular app happens under the hood. So you don't have to manually call the TypeScript compiler. In fact, when you run your application using ng-serve, Angular CLI calls TypeScript compiler under the hood to transpile all our TypeScript code. All right, now let's open our main.js file. So code main.js. So it's exactly the same code that we wrote, but now it's in a JavaScript file. So all JavaScript code is also valid TypeScript code. Now back in the terminal, I can execute this code using node. So node main.js. And we got the hello world message on the console. So from the next lecture, we're going to look at specific features of TypeScript that we don't currently have in JavaScript.